So this video describes the Spire F key shortcuts. So anywhere in the program, you can hit the F12 key and that will log you out. So you can log back into another database or back in the same one as I'm doing here. Okay. That's the first one. The next one is the F10 key. And that brings up a change location, which can mean change warehouse, change division, or location if you've got our location accounting turned on. Okay, then if we go inside of a sales order, here we can now uh, use the F9 key for lookup. So for instance, if we type in a word and then press F9, it brings up that word in the search box at the top so that all the searches for customers contain that particular word in, in there. And then from here, of course, you can add more words to it as well. Or you can go down to the, oh, let's select a valid customer. You can go down to the part number, type in a word, press F9, and it brings up a list of all the items with that word type in so all the inventory items which again of course now you can add to is and um, for multiple words as well okay the next f key i've got a sales order here with several items on it the next f key is if i press the f7 key it brings up the customer's history so just the history for the customer that's on this particular order showing all their units prices here and there you can of course Click order items only, so you're seeing a shorter list. Or you can look at the invoice header, so you can see their PO number and such. Okay, the next one is to cancel an order, is F2. So if you want to cancel an order in progress, you can just clear the order. And it takes you back to, the, to a new order, so you can start another new one, so you don't have to actually go out of it, save it, go back into it. It just basically clears out the order itself. Okay, the next one we got, let's just add an item on here. Get some quantity going. We'll just force ship an order. And we've got the F5 key. And the F5 key brings up the invoice screen. So you can pay by whatever method here and go ahead and invoice it. And then the last F key in orders. Let's just find an order here. So we'll go to this one is the F6 key. It simply closes the order. So it'd be the same thing as hitting the X at the top. And of course, if there was a change to the order and you hit the F6 key, it would ask you to want to save changes first. And then you don't save and close it. Okay, and a lot of those same F keys work inside of the purchase order module as well. So if you're inside of a purchase order, you can uh, use the F9 lookup and the vendor lookup as well here. So as you can see, it's a little tough to actually put a label on the F keys inside the program. You just have to know exactly what they do. So uh, give them a try. It'll save you some uh, time on processing orders.